Day after the first game of this series, when you guys couldn't seem to get a run home with a key hit, you come up with the three-run homer to get it all started today. What's that feeling like for you, and now knowing that you're going to L.A. tied up at a game apiece? Um, I feel great. Uh, I think everybody's going to feel good now. Happy fly. Uh, that's what we want. We want to do something good for the team, so the team can just... Um, Get little, that little push that we need, and um, hopefully what we did today, the way that we played today, you know, it can be good for the team to go to L.A., you know, happy, and then we can do something better. And over here to the front right. The way the wind was blowing in from left field today, did you think you could hit a ball out there because nobody else came close to doing that? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know until I hit the homer. Like, um, I remember my the inning before I was talking to the umpire, and I was telling him the same, like, you know, wow, that wind is really, really bad for hitters now. And then when I hit the ball, I was like, um, I think I hit it really good. I just, I don't know if it's going to go out. And then when it went out, I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> but yeah, everybody was asking the same, and a and, and couple, couple guys in the dugout were like, wow. I'm like, I don't know, maybe that moment wasn't windy. Maybe that moment just stopped and mm -hmm. just give me some extra. And then we're straight back on the left. Jose, uh, Wilson got hurt, obviously, a week before the season ended. Just And, and obviously, because of that, you'd have to play a larger role here in the playoffs. Just, you know, what did it mean to you, I guess, to contribute in that way and, and, uh, you, and not having to fill in for Wilson, too? I feel like um, losing Willie is tough for us. It's uh, besides uh, a player and play for the team that I play. It's just my friend, and uh, um, I love him as my friend, and, and I want to see him doing good all the time. Um, but you know, it's part of the game, and uh, we gotta, you know, keep going forward. And then right now that we don't have Willie, I gotta, I gotta try to do something for the team. And uh, I'm not saying that I'm gonna be like Willie, hit a homers and hit 300, but uh, I make him do something. That, um, something that I, what I do in the game. I uh, play my defense all the time and play hard and then and see what happened like today, you know. I didn't try to hit the homer and I got the homer, so I didn't, uh, maybe Willie can hit that ball farther than me, but uh, you know, uh, that's part of the game. The, we're just gonna go there and, and, and play hard every day, no matter uh, who's in, who's not. Yeah, it's great back on the right, Mark. Daniel. When the day started, did you think the wind would cause more havoc than it did? And also the, the catch Jason made in the fifth with the bases loaded. How difficult was that with the wind conditions the way it was? Yeah, how we hit that ball really well uh, to Jason and for him to make that play right there is a game saver. Um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, like Seeger may have hit a foul ball in the first inning that like the wind, I think we all got to look at it. And it just, it just knocked it down like a, like a pitching wedge. Um, so at that point, I thought somebody was going to have to do something special to get it through that. And he did. And he hammered that ball. So, um, you know, I think, you know, I also look up what Hosey did. And the play that, that Howie Kendrick made on Rendon's ball, that was a really tough play for him to come in on a knee like that and then get up and throw out. So, yeah, the, the wind definitely was doing some strange things out there. I think the, the outfielders on both sides did a great job. And then, again, uh, the big blow was Hosey's, Hosey's swing to be able to cut through that wind right there. And to the far right back. Daniel, you guys were able to add on your RBI singles uh, in the fifth and the seventh. But... The fact that you were able to get those key hits today with runners or, like, as you say, traffic on the base paths, how good was that as you head forward in this series? Yeah, again, like you said, there was traffic already out there. So um, Trey gets the base hit up the middle. Bryce works a really, really great at bat after Trey steals the base. And to shoot that ball in the 5-6 hole off of Rich, like I've never faced him before, but that that's that's unpleasant from a left-handed perspective. Um, and then Jada takes a really good pass and just misses it. And, you know, fortunately, I'm able to put that ball in play. Um, and then j comes back the next at bat with two outs and hammers. He cuts the wind, too, and short hops the ball. Um, he smoked that ball, and I think on a, you know, maybe on a fair day it might get out of the ballpark. Um, you know, I get a pitch up the middle, uh, you know, up in the zone, and I'm just able to kind of fight it off. So you know, I felt like as a lineup we were able to really, really grind out at bats on him. You know, things like, you know, like Danny Espinosa being able to take a couple hit by pitches. Hosey's at bat. Zim had really good at bats today. Like, just up and down the lineup, I feel like we were able to keep traffic out there quality of bats and um, you know the more chances we give ourselves uh, you know the better chance we have to win um, you know I think also yeah look at what the bullpen's done to be you know there was a lot of traffic out there for the Dodgers today too I thought our pitching staff top to bottom did a great job